Comets are created in the deepest reaches of the solar system. They travel in giant elongated orbits far away unless some force knocks them out of their orbit towards the sun. When a comet approaches the sun, its ices and gases called volatiles vaporize to produce the tail in a process called sublimation. Although a comet is mostly ice and dirt, its surface is a shell of carbon that forms as the volatiles below the surface collect on it during the sublimation process. It's uh, a bit like a, a baked Alaska, where you take a brick of ice cream and you cover it with meringue, throw it in the oven, and the outside layer protects the inside layer from the warming influence of the sun, so it's, uh, it's a very complex structure. Asteroids are other rocky bodies that also orbit the sun, but have few, if any, volatiles. They orbit either in a band of asteroidal debris called the asteroid belt, or in another more distant band of debris called the Kuiper belt. If you see an object and it happens to have a tail, maybe from sublimating gases or something, then they call it a comet. An asteroid is something without a tail. And that's the only distinction that observers would use. Originally, it seemed to everyone to be clear. Asteroids were these lumpy rocks, mostly between Mars and Jupiter, but sometimes you find them elsewhere. And comets were these things that came from further out. And when they got near the sun, they'd warm up, and volatiles would start to give off gases, and they'd have a tail. So comets had tails, and uh, asteroids didn't. Blurring the line between comets and asteroids even further, and contrary to popular belief, the phenomenon on Earth known as a meteor shower is primarily attributed to comets and not asteroids. A meteor is the visual display of light in the sky as a bit of dust and dirt burns up upon entering our atmosphere. There's the dust material that comes off from a comet that makes the tail that we see in the sky for a bright comet. If that material intersects the Earth's orbit, particularly at night, then we would see meteors coming from those bodies as they hit the atmosphere and were vaporized at the top of the atmosphere. Right now, there are about 30 to 40,000 tons of asteroid and comet material that land on the Earth every year. That's a lot of dust burning up in the sky and settling to Earth. But it's not just comet dust that can hit the Earth. Whole comets can. Geologic evidence suggests large bodies, possibly comets, have already plowed into our planet, destroying many of Earth's creatures. 